how's it going? It's Colin Daniel here. Uh, I'm from RiffNinja.com. Uh, if you're lonely, uh, go drop me a line at RiffNinja.com and uh, see what we got. Um, this is a little review on this funky little Dan Electro here. I don't know the model number of it and I don't really care. I call it the Jimmy Page model. They're pretty common. This is a Chinese model, a Chinese reissue. Um, the reason why I call it the Jimmy Page model is back in the day, Jimmy Page got a hold of one of these guitars and he ended up using it for slide. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Made it very famous at the time. Nobody wanted anything to do with it, but um, I dubbed this the Jimmy Page guitar. Um, it's a Dan Electro Chinese copy. It's got one volume, one tone. Selector toggle switch and two lipstick coil pickups. I really like the fact that they've updated the bridge. It's got separate uh, adjustments for the intonation, which they didn't have on the original in the 50s. Everything else is pretty close. Uh, this guitar was on, I selected this on purpose to turn it into a slide guitar. And this is what I'm kind of talking about uh, in my next uh, lesson to follow this. Uh, the reason I picked this guitar is because Paige seemed to get a really nice tone out of it. And I decided I wanted to do some experimenting with it and see what I could get out of this guitar. They're not too much. The fretwork on them is really good. Uh, the hardware is good. It's got great fully enclosed machine heads. Uh, they're in between the price range of 300 and 375 bucks. They're a great guitar for what they are. They're actually done quite well. I like the shape of the neck. It reminds me of an older Gibson style neck. Uh, a little bit, a little bit thick this way, but nice and chamfered on the edges. The frets are done very well, and uh, with the adjustable bridge, you can uh, get uh, the intonation right on. Um, with as with all the offshore guitars, they all settle a bit, and they need to be adjusted more than once. But once the guitar finally settles, it's a uh, it's great guitar. Highly recommend it for the slide or if you're doing some blues stuff and you want a second guitar or even if it's your first guitar and you don't have a lot of coin to toss around, uh, this guitar has a lot of tone, it really does. Like I said, I've set this one up for slide and we'll talk about that a little more in the next, in the next lesson. But just so you know, um, originally this guitar was built uh, the original guitars, the original Dan Electros, uh, were built from scraps, so the material wasn't always uh, the best quality, but uh, the guitar had a unique sound. The lipstick coil comes from the history of uh, back in the 50s, ladies' lipstick tubes, all the lipstick were metal, they were metal, and Dan Electro uh, recycled all the lipstick tubes and made pickups to fit inside the lipstick tubes. Henceforth, the uh, single coil lipstick tube pickups. I've played originals like this. Uh, this guitar sounds as good as the original. You're not far off. You're 98% there. There's a few things that are a little different on the guitar. But overall, it's got a great tone. And you'll find it to be a, a very decent guitar for the price. Like I said, if you shop carefully, you probably pick one up for around the $275, $300 mark, but even if you got to pay a little more because you live somewhere far, far away or in a place where you, these aren't as available, um, I highly recommend it. Uh, everything about the guitar is good other than it will settle quite a bit and need an adjustment. If you spend 50 or 60 bucks on a good guitar technician, um, he'll be able to straighten that out pretty quick. Uh, all right, I hope this has informed you on, the, on what I call the Dan Electro Jimmy Page model. I don't think they're allowed to call it that because of uh, the fact that using Jimmy Page's name. Uh, but it is a model that he made really famous. Check out his early pictures with Led Zeppelin, and you'll find out he played uh, slide on it. He liked, he liked to play slide on it. it. And I would have to agree with Jimmy there. It's a great sounding slide guitar. Uh, all right, uh, this is Colin Daniel signing out. Uh, hopefully uh, this has been informative to you. And, uh, if you're more curious about what else I got to offer, uh, check me out at riffninja.com. Have a real good one. Uh, we'll see you later. We'll slide on in with the next lesson. No pun intended. See you later.